everyone talking about queer Cuba intense by nikolai the notes in this are anise licorice lemon spearmint lavender pelargonium lang lang magnolia coriander hay patchouli cedar musk tobacco and leather so nikolai fragrances can be hit or miss for me sometimes i'm i really like them and other times it's just kind of like eh. so they're not one of those fragrance houses where i either consistently really like them or on the other hand where i they aren't for me or something either but uh i wasn't sure what to expect going into this one didn't think i would enjoy it because the notes list doesn't look like my thing but i actually think this is really good so first the anise and licorice vibes here are not too you know stereotypically licorice at all they just add nuance to the richness of the tobacco and they serve as more of like a spice with how they're done here the lemon mint lavender etc don't turn this into like a barbershop type of scent or get too bright again they just kind of like add some nuance the florals really don't stand out to me too much here. They just kind of weave around the other notes. And I don't think that the average person would think of this as a very floral scent at all. It's really focused all about the tobacco and and leather. But even though leather is, that's what queer means in the title, it, to me, it's very much the tobacco front and center. And I believe this is based on the idea of like a humidor, if that's how you say it, uh, for like storing cigars. And uh, yeah, very rich and deep tobacco with le smooth leather fitting for the inspiration it was based on, I would say. It's, yeah, like opening that and smelling fresh tobacco leaf cigars with this herbal aromatic side and then some intriguing hay and then pockets of spice. I would say it's refined and classy, but in a way that could still be like rebellious and kind of sexy too. So it's not like stuffy and dated, like some refined classy type of scents come across to me. And yeah, again, it's really not that leathery to me with the leather here. It's almost like the leather is just like kind of this smooth, flat surface that the tobacco is placed on. I do think that for some people, this could smell very like pungent and kind of challenging. But surprisingly, it doesn't for me, even though it's made up of a lot of notes that I'm not normally that big on. And I think it's really well done. About $80 for a 30 milliliter moderate to good longevity and projection and unisex leading masculine. And I'll link in the description where you can check it out.